Hi everybody. So in this video we are continuing with the aileron rigging that we started in the last video. So the very first piece you make, or that I was making, was the long push rod that goes from the interior inboard of the wing to the bell crank which you'll see in a bit. And that includes cutting the uh, pipe, uh, pilot drilling some holes, match drilling with a rod end, priming, riveting that rod end, and then you can put the uh, kind of the eye on it, which I'm doing here, along with a jam nut. What is a jam nut? That is a nut that jams another piece in place so that it doesn't rotate. And should be uh, added with some sealant when you've got major length. Okay, so next piece, uh, so, the so there's two push rods involved with this. One is the main push rod from the inboard to the bell crank, and then the second push rod goes from the bell crank to the aileron. And that's the one that you see here that I'm working on. Uh, it's nice. It's, uh, it's powder coated. It's very pretty. Uh, I've got a tiny little pipe cutter that you see me using in fast motion, and uh, I'll just say, I mean, it, it, it works. My tiny little miniature pipe cutter works, but I would much rather have a full-size pipe cutter for this. And so this one's a little bit different. So the, the holes you drill for this, you drill two holes through the end, and you're going to have another threaded... Now, this one's going to have a threaded end cap, uh, not the unthreaded or, or or female end cap that you put in before. Uh, this will actually have a threaded end cap. It's actually an AN490, I believe. Um, unfortunately, Vance sent me the wrong size, AN490s, so I had to order four of the regular ones from them so that I could actually make this. Because they, they sent me the ones that are too big. Uh, and here I am working on the bell crank. So, uh, the, I, I've done the left wing, so I'm doing the left bell crank, uh, which doesn't have anything special done to it. The right bell crank, however, is the one that will have the autopilot servo attached, so you need to have a um, nut plate installed onto the right one, which I will, you'll see me do later. I don't do it now. And along with that, you need to make sure, and here I am installing that uh, bell crank. So the bell crank has, the main part of it has a steel tube, and this is welded. This is one of the pieces that Vans does for you, right? They, they weld these uh, bell cranks together, they powder chrome them, and God bless them for doing it. Uh, the only thing uh, that you have to do is make sure that one, your brass, so it's got a brass sleeve that uh, goes inside of the main bell crank tube, which is a, a steel tube. Uh, you need to make sure that that sticks out from the ends of the of the tube, like a you know a thirty second of an inch on both sides, or or maybe it's a sixty fourth. Anyway, it's got to stick out, and then you're going to put an AN four bolt through that. So as long as all those fit, you can go ahead and install your bell crank and torque it into place, which I did. So now that uh, that's in place, and I'm still, and I was waiting on the uh, cap ins that Vans sent the wrong ones. So what I've started to work on now is the aileron torque tube. So the torque tube, when you're putting these wings together, you're going to notice that you're going to have a couple of attachment points to the fuselage, and on both of those big attachment points, uh, you put some bearings in, and you're probably looking at it when you're building, going, "What the hell are these bearings for?" Well, it doesn't matter. I'm just going to put them in. Those bearings are for this torque tube. So the torque tube translates the action uh, from the, the control stick in the cockpit to the push rod that goes to the bell crank. So it's hand to stick, stick to control rod underneath your seat, control rod to this torque tube, torque tube to the push rod to the bell crank, bell crank to the push rod to the aileron, push rod, and then the aileron moves back and forth. And these uh, and these torque tubes, of course, like I said before, these are already pre-welded and powder coated by Vans. Thank you very much. <clears throat> now you have to make it a two-piece. Uh, it actually winds up being a two, or it's actually three pieces because uh, it's going to have to fit in there, kind of like a toilet paper roll holder. 
And uh, I'll get more into that into the next video. So I will see you soon.